everybody! Welcome to Let's Look at Euro Truck Simulator 2. I hesitated a little bit, because the last time I looked at a simulator, I believe uh, it was Euro Truck Simulator 1, and that was for Poison Mushroom. And I've kind of, I've used simulators as the brunt of a lot of jokes in the past, because I think it's really funny that it's like such a weird kind of niche game, but I am eating my fucking words here with Euro Truck Simulator 2. This just came out on Steam, it was greenlit, uh, I've got a lot of like logistics to talk about here, but let's just talk about the game first. It's 40 bucks, it's super expensive, uh, but if you're into trucks, even if you're not that into trucks, I think this is actually a pretty engaging, surprisingly, uh, game that I've actually spent like two hours with so far, and there's like genuine joy that I've had when playing this game so far. Maybe that makes me like an old dad who wakes up on Sunday morning, brews a pot of coffee, and flies in Microsoft Flight Simulator like a real-time five-hour flight from LAX to JFK, but I don't care, goddammit! Euro Truck Simulator 2 was actually kinda good, so let's talk about what we've got going on here. Uh, this is my character, beep beep motherfucker, she's driven uh, 1601 kilometers. She's level 2, there is actually almost like an RPG or even Call of Duty style skill system in this game. We've got a skill that we can unlock here. Basically, the more we drive, uh, the more levels we unlock, and when we level up, we actually get skill points that we can put into stuff. Like, for example, uh, I could put rank 1 into long range, which gives me deliveries up to 350 kilometers, with plus 5% higher reward for delivery distances that are longer, and plus 25% experience for delivery distances that are longer. Why don't we take this? I've also got one in eco driving, which gives us like 10% fuel cost reduction or something like that. Any, in any case, I'm just pointing that out because it's super weird. This is our truck. Uh, previously, I've just been started doing like quick jobs, which means you're just a driver that is basically like a mercenary hired out. But now I've got my own business started, as you can see, it's a uh, serious ass hauls. Doing pretty good so far, we have minus 780 euros, uh, and I owe the bank 2800 euros a day to pay back a 100,000 euro loan that I took out recently. So, it's not going great so far, but we are in the middle of the mission, so let's just get this started. Before we get started, I have to say that Euro Truck Simulator 2 is a very good looking game, and that might not come across perfectly in this video, because it didn't record natively with Fraps, so I actually had to record this with Camtasia. Uh, so it might not look perfect, but I think it should look at least okay, so we're gonna get started here. Uh, as you can see, we're just like joining the game in progress, in media res, if you will, uh, and I am driving my truck here. So I've been playing with the first person perspective, like the dashboard cam, as much as I possibly can so far. Looks like we've discovered a truck dealer, if I look down at my GPS. And basically what you see is what you get here. I'm controlling this with a weird kind of like abomination of a setup. I'm using the Xbox 360 controller to control the truck, but controlling the other elements, like controlling the GPS, and whatnot uh, is entirely done via the keyboard, but I've got all the important features uh, of the truck mapped. Oh god, it's a red light, we're just going. Please don't give me an offense. It gave me an offense, alright. So we're losing even more money. Uh, but I've got all the important features mapped to my 360 controller. Like, for example, it's raining. Oh god, what are we gonna do? We can't figure out how to use the windshield wipers? Just hit the Y button, baby! There we go, so we're gonna be able to see. Uh, I also have, like, the signal lights. I thought? Oh, maybe not. One second. I need to figure out where I'm going here. Do we go straight or turn right? I think we go straight and there's a loop after this. Um, but yeah, I've got signal lights. Watch the... Excuse me? What do you mean headlight use offense? Oh, I had my high beams on. Whoops. Uh, so yeah, you can get fined in this game, by the way. You have to drive according to the actual rules of the city, so you have to pay attention. Sounds like fun, right? Well, fuck you. It kind of is. Uh, we're gonna come up here and merge onto the highway. Just use your mirrors. Make sure you're not gonna kill anybody. If you hit a car, it's like a 400 euro offense. I'm not sure what happens if you actually commit vehicular manslaughter, but anyway, watch our uh, signal light here. There you go, look at that, see? Realistic cockpit modeling. Watch it go up, goes up, goes down, goes up, anyway. Uh, I also have our headlights on the uh, 360 pad here, so... There we go, I can turn them on a little bit there. I don't know if, like, the high beams was apparently what I caused the problem with, so I'm not gonna do that in the future. We can also do other stuff, uh, like controlling our GPS with the keyboard. So it's a weird, like I said, abomination- Oh! Luckily no police saw that. Uh, abomination of a control scheme, but you can control this entirely on the keyboard if you choose, with the mouse as well. Or, you can go straight up, like, full Big Mother Trucker. And, uh, you know, get like a track IR head tracking system and like a steering wheel with pedals. I'm playing this on the most simplistic control scheme. I will say it has a good, uh, like accessible control scheme option. Basically, I'm just using the analog stick to drive here, which makes it super easy. And luckily, uh, our truck can only really go about 90 kilometers an hour downhill drafting. So, uh, I don't really have to worry about speed limits too much, provided I'm on the highway here. Uh, but... 
I don't know why I find this game engaging, but I do. Like, last night, I spent literally two hours driving across Europe. Like, I think I started in Bratislava, Slovakia, and I uh, drove to, like, Innsbruck or something. And the whole time, I was just, like, totally engaged for whatever reason. I don't understand it. So I, I can, if I go to my keyboard here, I'm just worried because there's, like, a bend in the road coming up. So let's uh, not jackknife and lose our cargo. I forget what we're delivering here. I took this mission last night. Basically, when you're doing quick jobs, the way the game works is you're just a mercenary. So you just appear in the truck with the cargo already loaded. When you start your own business, you have to take jobs and then drive your, like, empty truck across Europe to the job, wherever it is. Pick up the cargo and then start your uh, actual quest. So I'm going to be there fairly soon. You can see on the GPS it's only 2 hours and 19 minutes away. But there is, like, uh, acceleration of time in this game. Uh, so it's not going to be 2 hours and 19 minutes real time. It might only be, like, 15 minutes. So I'm just going to go to my uh, GPS here. I can change the scale of the map and zoom out or uh, zoom in. I forget what city we're actually going to here in the end, but uh, that's okay. We'll see soon enough. I can also check out our cargo. So we've got cheese that we are taking to Koln. I'm probably mispronouncing that horribly, and I apologize. Uh, we've got not that much time remaining on this mission, but we should be there with like five hours to spare. What about F7? Uh, this is like the damage to our truck and our cargo. I have hit some things with this truck on my long journey here, so we have 4% cargo damage. Sorry, 4% uh, truck damage. That's not going to be that bad, though. And we have no short messages and no emails, I believe. So we're just going to continue on our path here. And basically, we're just going to continue onwards until we eventually uh, arrive at our destination. So I'm going to try to be legitimate when it comes to highway driving here. I'm, you know, using my signal lights. You know, these simulators, they're what you make of it. If you want to play it and be all crazy and, you know, destroy cars, that's your business. I totally appreciate that. I do that all the time, oftentimes by accident, but all the time. Uh, but if you want to play this, like, a legitimate truck simulator... Oh, signal there. Didn't even check my mirrors, but you can't see my eyes, so it doesn't even matter. Um... If you want to play this like a legitimate truck simulator, by all means, you have my blessing. That's the way I've been playing it so far. I've been probably breaking a few too many laws, and people who are really into simulators are going to be, like, guffawing at my, uh, progress here. That was also not a very well-done lane change. Uh, but for whatever reason, and I found this to a slight extent with Train Simulator when I played it last year, uh, I find myself getting reasonably engaged in this, like... It's not like, oh yeah, shoot him in the fucking head, like throw a grenade, blow him up, like the adrenaline rush is crazy. It's it's more like, well, all right, gotta... It, the thrill of this is not in like short-term bursts, it's in like maintaining like a constant presence and constant awareness and then feeling like a mature sense of satisfaction when you arrive at your destination having not killed anybody, even though I basically just cut that guy off. Sorry about that. Uh, looks like we are taking a right up here. Keep an eye on that dashboard. I do like to signal when I turn. It's just polite, really. So I'm gonna get in the right lane, and then we're gonna prepare to signal. You do have to have some, uh... Oh god, slow down. These things have a lot of momentum. You do have to have some presence when you play, too. Like, you have to, believe it or not, have some serious coordination. That was probably not the best turn I've ever made, but, uh, like, I can look around using, like, right and left trigger. But it's very easy, as you can see, uh, when you're looking to just drift. It might be a little bit easier to avoid that if I was actually using a steering wheel, but it uh, looks like we're going left on the next turn up here. Uh, but yeah, like it, it's surprisingly difficult. Like When you pull out, you have to look both ways and time it appropriately, or you're going to get T-boned by cars, and that's not good for anybody, particularly the dude's family who you just killed by basically letting him T-bone you. Uh, for whatever reason, this is fun. There's not much I can say... Oh, God. Slow down. Slow it down. That was close. That guy's probably shitting his pants. All right, that was really close. Are you seriously not going to turn left? Thank you. Oh, my God. I do drive a little bit recklessly. I'm probably a little light on the brakes. But whatever, man. This cheese has got to get delivered. Several people in whatever country this is need to make whatever it is they make with the cheese that I'm delivering. Is that Switzerland? It's like K-O with the umlaut. LN. Let me bring it up on the GPS here. Koln Pospad. I, I'm not trying to be culturally insensitive. We can turn off our wipers. Uh, again, I'd, there we go. I'd like to say that this game is actually really good looking. That's one of the things that keeps me engaged. It's almost like getting like a virtual tour of the European countryside for the most part. You Also, you can go on the highways as well. You know, that's cool enough in its own right. Uh, by the way, don't worry. 
As soon as I actually make this delivery and you watch me fail at trying to park this, uh, we'll go crazy. There is like a free roam mode in this game, not really necessarily GTA style, but you can drive around, you know, check out some truck dealerships, if you will, to upgrade your business, but I'll try to kill some people. We'll do some city driving, because uh, I know that part of the appeal of these videos signaled after the fact, but oh well. Part of the appeal of these videos is seeing, you know, what happens when the simulator goes off the rails. But for now, I just wanted to say, like in the first 10 minutes of this video, laugh all you want, Euro Truck Simulator 2 is pretty fun, and I'm glad it got greenlit. With such like a lack of new releases right now, or a vacuum of new releases, if you will, uh, it's nice to kind of have a game like this come out. If I had a track IR and a steering wheel and pedals, uh, I could easily see myself, like, sinking 100 hours into this game, even though every time I boot it up, Kate looks at me like I'm fucking 55 years old. If you are 55 years old, no offense at all meant by that, man. I can't wait to be 55. I was only half joking about that brewing a pot of coffee and doing a five-hour real-time flight in Microsoft Flight Simulator from... Oh, shit, 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 shit. Brakes! Emergency brake! Well, that's not good. We've damaged ourselves a little bit more. Is this guy pissed? Yeah, he pissed. Yeah, can you move? Did I disable your engine? Just get over it, man. There we go. So, yeah, again, on this job so far, I haven't done too well. Uh, I'm minus 1,200 euros. So, as even playing it seriously, it's like my inner id... Oh, don't hit him again, please. My inner id can't resist coming out and just, you know, fucking shit up on a regular basis. Also, how weird is it in Europe? The light turns yellow before it turns green. That is hard to get used to. So our left turn should be fine here because there's nobody coming straight. And we are only... Wait, I'm not going left here. I'm going straight. Fuck this shit. I'm going off the rails. Uh, this guy's probably shitting his pants now. He thinks I'm following him and trying to kill him like that uh, Steve Zahn movie. What the fuck was that called? I can't remember. Tailed! Starring Steve Zahn. It sounds like a porno. Lance Hardwood is Ted Mosby's sex architect. Wait, I got it wrong. Whatever. Anyway, so we've arrived here in this city where the streets have no name. Well, the streets do have names, I just can't read them. The speed limit's 50 here. I did get dinged with the speeding ticket earlier. So we're going to be quickly arriving at our uh, final destination here. Whether that means final destination in terms of where we drop out the cargo, or my inevitable resting place uh, remains to be seen. But... This is the... Oh, I've discovered a recruitment agency. Here you can discover drivers who will work for you. Alright. Or hire drivers who will work for you. Regardless, that's interesting. So there is like a very much business management aspect in this game as well that I have not really uh, seen so far. Because you do need to start out small and then eventually build your business to get to that point. In any case, though, I think I need to zoom in on my GPS here. I, we must be in Germany because I think I saw Dusseldorf. I might just be going straight here. Or there's like a slight bank... Like a Lloyd Banks? I guess we just go straight through here and then take the bank here. This is the wrong side of the road. I should probably stay relatively street legal. Uh, so after this, we're going to have to park. And that's like the second aspect of Euro Truck Simulator. There's not just driving straight and taking slight curves. Oh, no, 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 ladies and gentlemen. Occasionally. Can you turn right on a red in Europe? Apparently not. There's a 350 euro offense. Um... Yeah, so there's there's more of this game than meets the eye. Sometimes, if you choose, you also have to park. Uh, I don't always park. Sometimes you can just like drive up to the final place and press enter and it will park for you, but that loses you valuable experience. I don't know why that guy, I think he's turning left. Yeah, sweet, so I'll just take this opportunity to turn as well. I may have, I may have been damaged here, but on the bright side, my cargo was not. Yep, cargo is still at 0%, so no problems there. So we'll just continue on our merry way. It looks like we're going to the Posped factory here. Want to turn left. And some parking jobs are easier than others. I've had a lot that were basically borderline impossible for me, and then I've had a couple that were not that difficult at all. But for the most time, backing up a trailer to like a... Okay, backing up a trailer to a, like a factory door is like solving the riddle of the Sphinx for me. I find it fucking impossible. Okay, here we go. We can change our camera angle, by the way. Uh, so let's just get it here. I want the trailer to be completely straight for when we back in. So I'm just going to pull forward just a little bit. It's That's fairly straight. How about now? That's probably a little straighter. Now, we can change our camera angle. Um, 
Just to see a little bit better. Okay, that looks pretty straight to me. Now, we're just gonna try backing this up. Now, it's kind of cheating to back it up in this camera, I feel. So we're gonna do it straight trucker style. Like this. And hopefully our wheels are straight and this will just more or less work. Although I can see the, the cargo is turning a little bit. I think we might be able to make this work. This would be very impressive. This would only be the second time that I've done this. Wow, that was surprisingly good. Okay, so we can detach our trailer with T, and that will be the end of this mission. So at the end of every mission, you get a rank. Obviously, our rank is excellent. Uh, we ended up making 5,000 euros, which is actually pretty substantial, and we picked up 250 experience. Not quite enough to get us to the next level, uh, but that was a long-ass trip. I mean, this one wasn't 215 kilometers, but it was like over 1,000 just to get to uh, Os Osnabrück. I think that's Innsbruck in English, uh, in the first place. So was it worth it? I mean, we ended up making a lot of money for it. Usually, like, the quick jobs only made me, like, 2,000 euros. Uh, but, you know, we've got a risk here. We've got a financial liability with respect to our business. So, was it a good idea? I don't know. Let's check out our new mail here. Uh, if I pause the game, we should be able to check that out. So let's go look. Uh, what do we have here? Overdraft settled. Dear customer, your account overdraft has been settled. We are happy to help in the future if you ever need our services. Thanks, account manager at the bank. I appreciate that. Uh, we should repay part of our loan, maybe? I don't know. We've only had it for a day, so that's not too bad. We're a pretty busy guy running, like, all the way across Europe every single day. But, I know what the people want to see. You've seen the serious side of Euro Truck Simulator. Oh, God, how do we get out of here? Let's, uh, run over some cars, and that will be the footage. Oh! That we used to end the video. I didn't see that guy. Again, using the 360 controller, I kind of regret it. Even though it makes the driving part very, very easy because you're only using the analog stick, uh, I would kind of prefer to be able to look more easily. I could use my mouse, but I don't want to take a finger off the, the controller, uh, or hand off the controller, I guess, not merely a finger. Uh, so the way that we look around is by like using the triggers, but the right trigger causes you to look left, and the left trigger causes you to look right. It's easy enough to rebind your, rebind your keys. I've done it for a number of things already, like the, the headlights and the signal lights, uh, but still... Kind of annoying. So I think this is where we can, like... Oh, we can view a job offer. So there is a job offer here. But instead, let's just travel into the city proper. And run over some fools. Are these guys waiting for something? No, I think those cars are just parked. Hard to tell as I speed by them at the brisk pace. 50 kilometers an hour. Uh, with cargo or without cargo. Let's turn... Oh, I botched it. <laughs> With cargo or without cargo, this thing still uh, maxes out at like 90 kilometers an hour usually. Okay, my viewpoint's all messed up now. Let's back this thing up. I want to take it into the city. So I just want to back up a little bit. And see where, uh... Yeah, maybe we'll take this bitch to Dusseldorf. It's great getting to see all these parts of the country I've never seen before. I've never seen anything in, in Germany with my own two eyes, so... Wait a minute. If we want to go to Dusseldorf, we can just go straight ahead. Don't hit the railing. There we go. Oh, I hit the car, though. So, yeah, we're losing our profit pretty quickly here, as you might expect. I'm probably throwing away my business right now, but I don't really care. For the entertainment of the people, I think this is uh, the most important thing. We're going to take a left here. No more damage caused. Ah, excuse me. Apparently, this part of Germany is closed today. I can take a right. I'm not really sure if I'm traveling in the right direction. Where is this game trying to tell me to go right now? It might be the route it has planned right now might be taking me back to my home base. But my home base is in fucking Bratislava, Slovakia. Uh, so... We're a ways away, to put it lightly. And I guess we're close to the French border as well, because there's Liège there. Uh, but anyway. Maybe we can go catch a, a Borussia Dortmund game up here. We don't want to turn left just yet. We'll just blow through all these lights. Blow through the lights. Blow through the... Boop, 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 boop. Am I, I can't... I, when I look at the GPS, I can't even tell what direction I'm going. It's probably not a good sign. We are straight up maximum overdrive right now. Oh! We're okay. Surprisingly, that didn't cause any damage. And we gotta take a quick left coming up, I think. I just want to run over some fools. Let's run this guy off the road. I hate to do it, but I also kind of really want to do it. Slow down so I can sunder you from your metallic carriage! I can't turn left. Okay, this red guy is screwed. Oh! 
he would have been. He knew I was coming. I probably should have turned left there if I wanted to go to Dusseldorf. Unfortunately, it's impossible for me to pull a Yui right now. Maybe this guy. Can we ruin this guy's day? I just want to see the big city, Mom. Here we go. That's his own fault, really, for being there. The thing with trucking, man, you gotta be ruthless. If I'm carrying seed and he's carrying seed, that sounds gross, but if we're both carrying ice cream or something, I gotta run him off the road so that the, you know, the ice cream company, the Nestle's of the world, are gonna be like, there's no way I'm going with a company other than serious assholes. They're the only ones who get there on time. Sure, their truck's scratched up and a couple of people die on the way, but, you know, at least we can get our shit to the grocery store on time. You gotta be, I'm not a business, man. I'm a business, man. Apparently we're just quoting Kanye West songs in this video, which is fitting, you know, Euro Truck Simulator, Kanye West, you can import your own tracks into the game. Unfortunately, I don't want to get buttfucked by the, the long dick of the law, or DMCA claims on YouTube, so we're trucking in pure silence here, except for the luxurious sound of my voice as I, uh, you know, quote, copyrighted intellectual property. We should be coming up to an important left turn here that will allow me to take the long road to Dusseldorf. Please? We might have to drift into the other lane for a little while to make this happen. So it should be, like, somewhere in this... Ah, uh, the forest is rejecting me. Ah, I'm now a level 3 newbie, so I do have a new perk that I can uh, add. Is this the turn? Like, this tiny, winding mountain road? Wrong... Uh, it's 100 euros for driving in the wrong lane. And, like, 300 euros for turning left on a yellow. I apologize. I think you've got your priorities mixed up, though. Road trip! Uh, I took the long way to Dusseldorf. But, you know, it's the scenic route. We're getting to see all these sweet trees, which are probably being really muddied by Camtasia. Again, I apologize for that. I tried to record this with Fraps, just didn't work. Tried to record it with uh, a program called DX Story, and the frame rate was like two frames per second, so... This is what we're gonna have to do, you know. Desperate times call for desperate measures when it comes to Euro Truck Simulator. The video is probably going to end in like two minutes when I get to Dusseldorf because I'm just going to fucking run over somebody and there's going to be like kids crying in the street. The BBC is going to show up. It's not going to be a good time. This is, oh, I had my signal light on that whole time. How embarrassing. Uh, this, games teaching me a lot about Europe, which is mainly... I My vision of Europe having never been there, although I am you know going to Iceland at the end of this month for a, a convention with the guys at Paradox... Uh, in any case, I guess that's neither here nor there, because Iceland is not in this game. Uh, but yeah, having never been to Europe, my idea of Europe is like somewhere between like a 2000s Euro trash music video. So just like constantly people in like vinyl PVC clothing, and mixed with like the most historical architecture and like beautiful landscapes. Uh, of like modern buildings that you could possibly imagine. This must be Dusseldorf. I can see the Dusseldorf Tower right there. Um... But yeah, instead I'm seeing a lot of countryside, which is kind of cool. I can get into that. Can I take a left into the city at any point? Or is this just the road that goes entirely through Dusseldorf? I can't see, game! Oh, we're going to have to thread the needle. Here we go. Nailed it! Like, literally. How much damage did we cause there? Not too much. Hopefully. 21%! Ah, that's just actually pretty bad. Uh, what do we go to? F5 here. Then the problem is that this motherfucker now, if I switch cameras, just like will not move. He's like, oh, wait for insurance. I'm like, shut up, pussy. I'm trucking here. There we go. Fuck you. Why don't you just drive? You gotta get your kids to school. Or at least to the hospital at this point. Like, be a responsible parent. Get out of my way. I've got 500 horsepower of herding power. Uh,. Did I just miss the turn into Dusseldorf? Whatever. End my life, please! The trucking has become monotonous! Ooh, that's gonna hurt. In any case, I think this is gonna be the end of the Euro Truck Simulator 2 video, because uh, my engine just malfunctioned. In any case, thank you guys for watching. This game is now available on Steam. It's 40 bucks. I realize that's expensive. You're not gonna believe me! It's actually a lot of fun if you're willing to give it a chance. 40 bucks is probably way too expensive for um, a lot of you guys to do it as like an impulse purchase just to see if you're into it if you're into trucks thumbs up man you know beep beep you've got the go ahead for me uh but you know don't be surprised if you see this come down in a sta in a sale if it's like five or ten bucks if you think you're interested maybe you should pick it up i'm having a lot of fun with this game so far playing it straight like not even causing just havoc 
and chaos everywhere I go. Uh, you might feel the same way, or I might just be slowly becoming my own father. But in any case, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.